Hello guys, Jack from Fox Tech. And people are requiring us to put on a drone that is uh, lightweight and durable and cheap and many features for mapping inspection. And today here it is, the Long 170. Okay, this is what included in the Long 170 packing box. The main body itself and the two pieces of wings and two quick detach type propeller, soft self-tightening and one pack of battery and then the radio controller. I'm going to open it later, the MK15. So this is a long range video and data and also radio link. Well, the Long 170 is a very unique Vito. Uh, you can see it is a four plus one, four lifting motors and two of them is using the quick lock type propeller. So, so you don't need any tool to mount it. So it's very easy, very easy to, to mount these propellers, okay? So the Long 170 has a great feature of a quick connection. You can see we don't offer any tools to mount or to link this, these wings or and uh, there's no tool to do this. Just this the quick connection locks can't do the work. You can see we can mount the wings so easily and uh, you can see clearly the carbon fiber tube in these wings and here we have the push and fold so I can call it the swing and lock mechanism. Here we can see the aileron, aileron servo is actually mounted on the body so it's just uh, use this linkage to control the surface this iron surface and then ESCs, ESCs and for the motors and motors and also are high uh, efficiency type. The first thing and the foremost thing I like this uh, Vito is, is using the EPP as its material and the EPP we have known this material for quite a long time normally used on the toys and the first time we used the material on the Vito and the EPP material has so many benefits like lightweight and durable and not easy to leave a scratch and flexible but on the long 70 we are using the high density EPP so not easy to get bended and still very nice and very durable very strong just like EPO but it's a lot of durable and not easy to leave a scratch I, I, I love this material very much okay so the long 170, we can see it's uh, using the four lifting motor and the one pushing motor. All of them are the uh, 13 inch propellers and high efficiency and also good speed. And the cruising speed of the long 170 is it reaching the 16 to, one, to 26 uh, meter per second. And also I have to mention, this is a lightweight, small VTOL and uh, the RTF weight without the battery is only two kilo. So like I uh, demonstrated, you can just uh, swing and lock and take it around and the packing box is just like this big and not big at all. Although the Long 170 is a small beetle, only has a wingspan of 1.7 meter, but as those uh, typical beetle and drones, they have so quite a big canopy, you can see it is big comparing with its size. And Okay, let's open it up. We also use the quick connection or quick lock here. Opening up, we can see the battery. The battery we suggest to use was a 16,000 milliamp battery. So uh, it can offer you a flight time up to 90 to 100 minutes. This is really impressive comparing to the size that only 1.7 meter wingspan veto is a quite long time. The Long 170 can be used for the mapping inspection and also FPV purpose. So if I personally own one of these, I can do FPV by adding those DJI high, high definition videos. I can do FPV because it has a so small size. So you can just use it for any kinds of purpose. And also due to the self-tightening quick connection, Tire, uh, propeller and also the parts is easy to carry around and also lightweight. 
So I have something to say about the radio. We are using the MK15 radio as it's the video control and also the data control and also the RC control. And normally if you fly a VTOL or drone, we don't need to manually control it. But I also strongly like the all-in-one type. So built-in, it is a Android phone, so you can uh, load any kind of uh, software apps to it to give the drone and also the radio a different function. So right now, aileron control, rudder control, elevator is controlled uh, automatically. So uh, we have mounted a, sorry, here. We have mounted a A7R camera here. So it's, you can easily mount the RTK or PPK system to do the mapping. So we have the airspeed tube here to read uh, the airspeed and also the flight controller. So we are using the CUAV V5 Plus flight controllers and also this new V2 GPS and the compass module to give this really small VTOL very good performance. All in all, there are six servos on long 170, and it has two aileron servos directly mounted here in, in this uh, main body, and using a linkage to control the surface of aileron. And also, we can see here we have the two uh, elevator servos and also the two rudder servos. I especially love this kind of uh, uh, setup because it's easy to control it, and uh, so in case it can bring you a very precise control during the mapping and other uh, applications. Okay guys, this is a Long 170, my favorite drone right now, and it has features uh, lightweight and durable body and the cheap price and small packing size. And I uh, especially love the swing and lock mechanism on the tail tube. So uh, I can use this for the inspection, mapping, or even FPV purpose. I hope you also like it. And this is Jack from Foxtech. You can find it along 170 on our website, which is the foxtechfpv.com. And I uh, hope you enjoy our site and also our social medias like YouTube and also Twitter, Facebook. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye.